Will eating insects be tiny or huge by 2030? This is one of my weekly prediction videos. At the end of it, I predict how huge eating insects will be by 2030 on a scale of 1 to 10. Meet Lauren Keegan, chief executive of the insect food startup Entomo. She is on a mission to bring the benefits of insect food to humans. And meet Doug Brown, a fitness instructor who uses protein supplements. To make the prediction, let's look at the technology needed, the companies making it happen, what's to love and jobs. Will the three technologies needed for eating insects to be huge by 2030 be solved or unsolved? Growing insects for food will be solved. Lauren produces various forms of cricket-based foods from tropical house crickets. Crickets are the insect of choice because they are nutritious and cheap to grow. She uses cricket condos, plastic containers divided into sections to appear like small condos arranged horizontally and vertically in a big room. The condos allow the crickets to breed and live freely in a way as close as possible to how they would live in their natural world. She installs slim containers filled with peat moss and damp soil in a nursery for the family crickets to lay eggs on. The eggs are incubated for 7 to 10 days before they hatch into pinhead crickets. 10 to 15 million crickets consume about a thousand pounds of plants and meat-based feed a day, including worms. She harvests about 50 million crickets a week at the end of their 8 to 10 week life cycle. Aspire, another insect food startup, uses a similar approach but applies smart farming methods to grow their insects. These include the use of robots, sensor technology and Internet of Things to capture real-time data during the whole process from hatch to batch. Chapel is also a startup. It grows crickets in a similar way to Lauren technology to package the insect food by 2030 is solved. Lauren packages the insect food as starter packs whole and also as processed protein powder. Whole crickets come as roasted or flavoured that work well as snacks. Protein powder or flour can be packaged as a protein supplement or ingredient flavour and nutrient to add to a recipe. Aspire also packages whole crickets and processed cricket protein powder. Chapel, on the other hand, packages cricket flour only. The technology needed to make insect food tasty is maybe solved. To eat the crickets whole, people have them either roasted or fried. I haven't tasted them myself, but the roasted crickets are said to be crunchy and have a smoky barbecue flavour. Mmm, sounds yummy. And cricket powder or cricket flour is used as an additive in recipes, including blending, baking or whatever you choose and it's added to protein shakes, smoothies and pasta sauces as a protein boost. In summary, because most of the technology is solved, on this basis alone it's at the huge end of the scale. I make new predictions like this every Monday and Thursday. Subscribe now so you don't miss them. There's always something interesting to learn. Now companies. Eating insects will be huge if there are unicorns, startup companies with more than a billion dollars and big multinationals that are active, represented by this elephant. Lauren's company Entomo may one day be a unicorn. It was founded in 2014 by three brothers who grew up in South Africa. They currently have the largest insect farm for human consumption in North America, with more than 60,000 square feet of production space. Aspire is also on its way to becoming a unicorn. A team of students from McGill University founded it in 2013 after becoming finalists in the Holt Prize competition. Its CEO, Mohamed Ashur, was selected as a Forbes 30 under 30 for social enterprise. It has operations in countries including Canada, Ghana and Mexico and is currently building the world's largest cricket farm in Canada, measuring 12 acres. Chapel is also an aspiring unicorn. It focuses on making cricket powder for food products. In 2013, the firm secured $50,000 for a 10% stake on a deal with Mark Cuban on NBC's Shark Tank. Multinational companies are active, including Bula Group and Nestle Purina. They're supporting insect food startups. Bula Group invested 45 million euros in Protix, an insect food startup, creating insect protein for animals as well as humans. And the companies are experimenting. Nestle Purina are experimenting with a new line of dog food that contains cricket protein. Because the unicorns are growing and because multinational companies are active, this look at companies points to insect food being in the middle of the range. Think about booking a place at my popular weekly Tuesday predictions meetup. We dig deeper on the predictions and have a laugh. 
Use the link in the description, you'll love it and it's free. Eating insects will be huge if they get plenty of 5 stars and no 1 stars. 5 stars for being healthy. I wasn't convinced to start with but there are some real health benefits. Crickets have 2 times more protein than beef and 4 times more iron than spinach. An insect food can combat obesity and malnutrition. 5 stars for being environmentally friendly. Compared to other forms of farming, insect farming and processing produces less greenhouse gas emissions. Cricket farming produces 75% less CO2 than chicken farming and uses 50% less water. Insects produce less waste because their excrement, known as frass, can be used as soil amender and fertiliser. And unlike livestock production that requires lots of land, insect farming can be done on a small area. For affordability, eating insects scores 3 stars. Even though the cost of production is low, insect food is quite expensive compared to other protein sources like meat and chicken. This is because you're supporting a new industry while paying for a new experience. A quarter pound packet of whole roasted crickets costs $14 at the time of recording. As demand grows, the price is likely to come down further. Sounding Delicious scores only two stars. Although eating insects such as roasted crickets is full of healthy nutrients, to most people, including me, it doesn't really sound that delicious. There's no doubt though that some people love them, but with good flavouring and inclusion in flour form in tasty recipes, it can be a lot more enticing, even to me. On this basis, it's at the middle of the scale. And if you're loving this, it would really help me if you click the like button so more people get to see these predictions. If eating insects is huge, then there's gonna be lots of jobs hired and fired. Chicken farmers will one day be fired if insect eating really takes off. On the hired side, Lauren's Entomo team has no jobs vacancies listed at the time of recording. The insect food sector is growing though. Currently the jobs are focused in North America, Entomo is headquartered in Canada, Aspire and Chapel are in the US. If this sector excites you, then set up job alerts on LinkedIn for the insect food companies. Jobs in sectors like this are often more interesting and secure than in older sectors. Helping you make good career decisions is a big reason why I'm doing this Life in 2030 channel. I was fortunate to join the e-commerce sector with eBay in its early days and have benefited ever since. My Life in 2030 is a course that I run that is perfect for you if you want to think the years ahead through more and get yourself pointing in the right direction. To book a place, see the description below. It's truly life-changing. Because there's no jobs being hired and fired, from a jobs point of view, eating insects is at the lower end of the scale. Now we've covered all four sections, it's time for me to make a prediction. We've seen the technology needed is mostly solved, there aren't many unicorns today, it gets an overall 3 star rating and there aren't many jobs being hired. This means that on a scale of 1 to 10, eating insects is at the lower end of the scale by 2030, at a 4. Sign up for my predictions newsletter in the link below, it's full of insight each week. Don't miss our next prediction and hit the subscribe button. And go and have a look now at this prediction or that one. They're great. I'll see you in the next video.